What is up guys, HBFC here and welcome to Bloody Sunday episode 24. This week you guys voted for Hotline Miami. So I'm basically just going to let you guys vote every week because why not right, it's a bit of fun. Occasionally I might pick one myself but yeah for the most part I'm going to throw over to you guys. So again check the description for the games that you can vote for for next week. Leave a comment below the game of choice or you can tweet me at HBFC. But anyway on to Hotline Miami. So it was first released in 2012 on the PC but since made its way to PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4 and PlayStation Vita. And I'm pretty god I'm happy you guys chose this because <laughs> I absolutely love this game. I think it's brilliant. I love everything about it. I love the gameplay, I love the art style, I love the music, but oh god, do I love the brutality. Yes, I do. So Eurogamer described this as a top-down fuck-em-up, which is the perfect description for this game because that's exactly what it is. It is a top-down fuck-em-up. So anyway, let's get started. So I think I'll just start from the beginning, start a new game, right? I won't go to the story, it's kind of a bit complicated. Uh, I think you should experience it for yourself if you haven't already, but... You basically... Each chapter you go to these locations and you kill everyone, basically. Kill, kill, kill! Paint the walls with blood, basically. That's what you do. So, is he just sort of like a tutorial opening up? I'll skip through most of this so we can just get to the violence, right? Because that's what it's all about. Okay, give this guy a punch! I really do love the uh, the art style to it. I think it's brilliant. Screw the graphics, always. Screw them. But, oh. There you go. Smacked his... Well, kicked his head in. Yeah, there's loads of different weapons you can get. Um, these guns, like shotguns, assault rifles, pistols. But then you've got <laughs> crazy weapons like uh, machetes, cleavers, hammers, drills, katana. You freaking name it. It's probably in here. It's just crazy. The ways you can brutalize people. There's just so much blood in this game, it's awesome. It's gonna be one, it's gonna, I think it's the best indie game ever. At least the best indie game I've ever played. Okay, come on. Here we go, part one. Phone calls. Okay. Right, I've got these weird guys in mass again. I'm not gonna go into the story, we'll, we'll sort of skip this. But it's definitely an interesting story. It's just it's kind of hard to follow. It's a bit it's a bit bizarre. It doesn't actually play out in chronological order. It's sometimes a bit all over the place. But basically, you wake up as this guy each um, chapter. He's not actually got an official name, but people call him Jacket. Uh, and you get these messages on his answer machine, basically telling him people telling him to go to these places and kill everyone. Basically, that's what happens. And that's what you do. Now there is a sequel coming out which I can't wait for, Hotline Miami 2, uh, I think it's called Wrong Number, I think it's out early next year. Can't wait for it, it's going to be awesome and I can almost guarantee I will be doing a full walkthrough of that game so... Anyway, here we go, are we off? The Prelude! The Metro. Okay right, you can choose these uh, masks, you can unlock, I've unlocked a few here, you unlock them as you play through. I think you get most of them by getting a, a decent score, but some of them give you like a sort of a bonus, some of them give you a bit of a handicap, but it, it's fun testing them all out, and it's, it's just fun to wear masks, like you can be a freaking unicorn! I'm gonna be a unicorn! There's something funny about killing people wearing a unicorn mask, but here we go, basically you've got all these rooms, and you've just got to kill everyone, but there's not much room for error, you die very very quick, I just, I'm relentless, I just go for it, so, knock this guy over, BOOM! Smash his head in! Yes! Get this bat! There's a guy pacing there. Boom! Yeah! <laughs> they, they just, their heads explode. It's just... Oh! The violence. It's just really addicting as well. And it's one of those games where it's actually fun to die. Just for the violence. And you are going to die a lot. You've sort of got to learn from your mistakes, really. It's very, very easy to die. Let's get this pipe. Guy, they have a knife. It's funny when uh, you finish them off. They don't always die. So it's good to like... Oh! You know, like if they down the floor, get a bat and just smash their head in. Incredibly satisfying. Oh god, you see, I'm dead there. My brains are on the floor. I told you, it's fun to die. But it just puts you right back at the area, so you don't get frustrating. But as I said, I just really go for it. I don't really like to take my time. There you go. Look, smash his head in with a bat. Like, how can anyone not like this game? It's just it's so. Oh, did I snap his neck? I think I might have done. It's a shame I'm not going to get to show you all the uh, the weapons and stuff, but oh god. Okay, stage clear. They sort of get like harder and harder as they go on, you know, guys are going to have guns and stuff. Here we go. Oh god, oh yeah. 
That wasn't wise, that. Trying to get that Gower, though. Gower's alive. There you go, right. Oh! Well, I've done it again. Let's not do that. Oh, I think there's a hammer there. Let's get the hammer. Oh, no, I can't get the hammer because I've got the briefcase. Okay. All right, well, let's knock him, but oh. I'm doing very well here, am I? Oh, come on, right. I'll get that bottom guy first. Where is he? Right. Yeah, you can lock onto him as well. That sometimes makes it a little bit easier for you. Right, let's get this guy before he gets up. There we go. Splatter his brain. <laughs> Even though it's got these like retro graphics, there's a lot of it's just it still manages to be so violent and like a sort of a like a like a, like a I don't know, it's like a 16 bit or like an 8 bit. It's somewhere in between, isn't it? I don't know really. I love it anyway. All right, let's leave. Okay. And as I said, I absolutely love the soundtrack to this game. It's brilliant. It's got a sick soundtrack. Who's there? I can hear you. I know you're there. Take care of this guy. He's got a bat. There you go. He's down. Smash his head in. Oh, and I've puked! You see, what a fantastic way to start the game. Splatter some brains, smash some skulls, and puke. What more do you want? Seriously. There you go, it breaks down your score for you as well. You get like um, a grade at the end. Showing you like executions. I got an A minus! I'm happy with that. I'll take the A minus. Better than anything I ever used to get at school. I was used to F's and D's and or just to see me, because you're shit. Who's this guy? Hey there man, haven't seen you around. I don't know why I've decided that he sounds like that, but thought something might have happened to you. You seem really down over losing your girlfriend. Don't remember seeing you after that. Right, we'll, we'll skip the dialogue. Okay. It's Linda, I need a babysitter. Yeah, basically just, it's all metaphors for go out and kill! Don't say directly do this, you know, you've always got some sort of task. But, uh, right, let's go on to the next one. Seriously, I could play this game all day, it's just, it's so much fun. Okay, this is the first chapter. No talk! He says there that you can shoot through some walls, and, uh, I think the enemy can as well. They can shoot through winds as well, but let's go as. Let's go as a pig! It's like Pigsy from Manon. Okay. Let's get this guy. Boom! <laughs> I think he just stomps on his head there, doesn't he? Oh god. Oh, there was a guy there with a shotgun. Yeah, you can use doors as well. Oh, I totally sliced him right there. Came all folded up. Yeah, like if there's an enemy next to a door, you can sort of like kick the door or like just barge through it and it knocks them over. So you can use that to your advantage. Let's uh, let's get a shotgun and blow some heads off. Oh yeah! Seriously! Messy! That's how I like it! I want blood everywhere! Oh man. Also watch your ammo as well, there you go, chapter clear. See, they're pretty easy to start with, but they do get very, very hard. But yeah, I left uh, quite a bit of blood around the place. I'm happy with my performance. Okay, let's leave! And what score did I get? I got... I got a B minus? Okay. Playstyle generic. Okay. Keep me while I'm down, why don't you? But yeah, the game's set in the 80s as well, 89 there. I think it's like an alternate 80s. This is Thomas from the Methadone Clinic. Alright, let's get going. I believe this game was inspired by a film called Drive. I've never seen it. Uh, I should probably check it out. If anyone has seen it, you know, let me know. Is it good? Is it worth watching? So I'll check it out if it is. But let's go as... Um... Frog! Okay, can I knock this guy down with the door? Yes, I can! Let's bash his brains in. 
Oh god, no. <laughs> oh, my brain's on the floor then. Try it again. Ugh! Yes! Oh, stomped him! Right, I got the gun out. Yes! And you! And you! Oh, he's not dead, he's not dead. He is now. Probably, I won't probably won't be able to get as far to show you, like, the katana and stuff, when when you're down, he just, like, just sticks it right in their head. There we go. Oh, look at that. I cut his... I cut him open. Look at him. Oh, man. Oh, I didn't see that guy. I wasn't concentrated. Oh, man. Slice him. Right. That guy's got a gun. So oh, God. <laughs> I'm going to get a good grade on this, am I? Okay, come at me. Boom. Right, get him. Oh, let's get him. Oh god, oh jeez. Let's try it again. Oh. Right. Has that guy got a gun? No, he's got a bat. Oh yeah, man! You see that? Right, uh get this guy. Oh god, that guy's oh no. Was that, who's the guy? Is his arm's been cut off? It's kind of hard to tell. It's like he's been tortured anyway. Oh god, right. Three guys with shotguns. Um, should probably get a gun. Actually, they get drawn out by gunfire. So again, that's something you can use to your advantage, but also can be a disadvantage. Oh! Oh, I got them, but they got me! We all died! So much death. Oh god. I told you I was reckless. Never claimed to be good. I love that one. He stabs the red against the wall. That's just awesome. Oh, he shot me. <laughs> what am I doing? It is always wise, really, to lock on. It's easy to hit them that way. Right, let's get this guy. Come on. Come at me. Has he not seen me? How does he not seen me? I'm right here. There we go. Right, let's get that guy. Let's get his... Uh, what's his weapon? Oh, have, I, have I got it? No, I haven't. Let's get the knife, then. Oh! Come on! This is going terrible. I'm not normally this bad, I promise. Yeah, actually, I am. I am normally this bad. Oh, God. All right, let's get you. Oh, God. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, man. Damn it. Come on. And you. I'll take that bat, actually. Oh, yeah! Double! Oh, yeah! Right, let's, uh... What's that? Is that what is this? Is that a shotgun? Oh! Oh, took his leg off! Sweet! Face down a pool of his blood. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's get out of here. I reckon I could squeeze one more chapter in. Would have been nice to be able to show some more weapons, but, you know. I'll be able to do all that when I do Hotline Mami 2. Can't wait to see what weapons that game's going to have. Which way is it? This way? No, I've come down this way. Where's my car? I am lost. Wait a minute. Oh, no. I didn't come down this way. I am on the top floor. What am I doing? Pay attention, Ash. Okay, here we go. Bring on the next mass slaughter. When I get there, like a, a D, D minus. A minus? Wow! Okay, I'll take that. <laughs> VHS Palace. Hey, dude. Good to see you again. Okay. Come on, dude. Let's get straight. Oh, let's get this uh, tape here. All right, let's do one more chapter. Oh. All right. Let's get going. This music's so catchy. 
decadence. And I'm gonna go as... The Mighty Walrus! With this, I can survive two bullets. Alright. Okay. Oh, I like this soundtrack. <laughs> Just slamming the head. Oh, God. There goes my brains again. Right. There's a guy up here in there. You can actually look look around as well. Scope out the area a bit. Right. That guy's gonna. I need to lure this guy down. Oh god. Well, he's got out of the way first. Oh. Is this in me? There he is. Oh come on. If I run up to him, he'll get me before I can get to him, so I do need to... There we go! Shotgun! Give him the shotgun! I could line these guys up for a knock. I'll knock this guy down with the door. Boom! But they come the rest of them, and boom! My head! <laughs> Did I mention I love this game? Okay, well, let's, let's go nuts. Let's just try, I'll try and knife these two guys. Oh, and I did it! Success! I can get these two guys as well. Oh, no, that guy's set. Oh. There we go. Oh, God. This is risky trying to go for three of these guys. Or is it four? I can't know. It's just one guy in it, that. Or is there a guy down below as well? Oh, God. Is he be... Oh! Yeah, well, yeah. Lure him out. Yes! Right, let's take the shotgun. No, let's take this, let's take this shotgun. We're going up. Oh, look at that. There's a freaking pool cue. Thank you very much. Oh yeah. Oh, it broke. To the pipe. Oh, where did that come from? <laughs> oh. Hello. Oh dear, well that wasn't very good, was it? Get him. Get them two. Get you. Oh, assault rifle. Let's take the assault rifle. Get this guy. Just gonna lure that guy out. Oh. Shoot him. Got a bit low on ammo. Let's grab the shotgun. Blast him. Blast him. Is that all of them? Or is it two guys in here? Okay. Alright, sweet. Look at all the bodies. There are some boss fights as well as a few of them. They can be kind of, uh, kind of tricky. There's also enemies, like, there's some dogs as well, uh, which can only be killed with weapons. And there's also these like big guys, like we're going to see this guy right here. He can only be killed with a weapon. Oh! Let's try that again. So I say weapon, I mean gun, sorry. Oh, ran out of ammo there. Try the revolver. Oh, man! He's quick. Right, um. Nope, this isn't working. I need some more ammo. Let's go, uh. Try this. Oh, well, this is kind of. Oh, we've got assault rifle. Ow! Um. That. Well, that dropped him, but that's only the one shot. Ah! Damn! I'm gonna take this guy down. There we go, this should be full of ammo. Come on! Damn, he's tough. Is he done? He's crying! Let's finish him off. Can I finish him off? Yes, I can. Oh, did I... Oh my god. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna take this girl home. All right, I guess I think that's the final one. I'll be going on all day. I don't stop myself now. <laughs> Grade C plus. Oh well. Well, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll end this one here. That was the awesome 
whole lot about it. If you never played this game before, you need to go play it right now because it's absolutely brilliant. As I said, can't wait for Hotline Miami 2. It's going to be awesome. But anyway, guys, it's been Bloody Sunday, episode 24. As usual, thanks for watching. I shall see you next time. Later.